I think I get. I think I get the bet. You know what this is? A de- declaration of war. If I see this little Nicky kid around, I'm gonna snap his neck. And where the fuck does he come off thinking that song is entertaining? Why is that the insult? And just repeating the word over and over again. How is that any sort of comedy? It's not funny. Mm. It's really lame. Mm. It's uh, it's childish. What don't you like? Um, all the sexist slurs, all the anti-gay slurs in it. Well, what he's trying to do, this isn't against the gays. Mm-hmm. What he's trying to say is, Danny, you're subhuman. You're a homo. You're a gay. You're with other people. Right. It's uh, none of those things are subhuman. It's a re- it's ridiculous to even act like that is an insult. Er. Uh. I mean, is this 2009? It's now so outrageous for someone to be gay. Mm. No, but but the thing is, you don't want to be called that. There's nothing wrong with being called it. It's not an insult. He thinks he's insulting, and he's not. So it's actually, if you say to somebody, fag, you're complimenting them. I don't know if that term is the right way to go, but How there's nothing. Homo? There's not. I think homo is all right. There's all right. nothing wrong Let with being see. gay. Hey, Dave, you're a, you're a homo. Hey, hey, hey. that's great, right? Come on, Ron. That's great. <laughs> you're funny. Yeah. You're, you're funny to me. But what it is is a compliment. Yeah. You're a homo. <laughs> okay, I know. Hey. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Hex, you're a homo. Oh, thanks. Hey. hey. Thank you, Ron. You're a homo, I tell you. Oh, Jesus. Say it again. Do me a fucking favor and no. say it again. Don't you ever insult my family like that again. I know, we were having fun. Don't you ever insult my family. It's not an insult or a compliment. It's just a fact of life. Right. And there's nothing wrong. It's like calling somebody, you know, black or... Yes, exactly. Or calling somebody who's Catholic, Catholic, you know, it doesn't matter. That's what I try to do. I try to say, like, if my friend is cheap, I try to say, oh, you're a Jew. And then everybody gets mad at me. When what I'm really trying to do is compliment him. It's that's not a compliment being mm. called cheap. So you don't think Collins uh, dropping the M bomb is an insult? I think that's a slur. Yes, but there's is no- it a compliment or, or not? I can't understand. What is it that you're upset about? I'm upset about the uh, homophobic slurs in Little Nicky's song. Like he's he's acting like that is so horrible, and there's there's nothing. Wrong with it? It shouldn't be the insult? Well, yeah, I mean, if you take out the disgusting parts, it's definitely legal. Of course it is. Fez, did you see this guy who had the, uh, he was like a Catholic guy who's against the gay marriage, and now he's divorcing his wife for 43 years. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, preserve that sanctity. Do what you can there. Do what you can. Stop people in love from getting married because you got such a handle on, uh, handle on it yourself. Now, normally I'm for everybody doing what they want, but the gay marriage thing won't abide. Why? Doesn't make sense. Oh, yes, it is. What happens during a bachelor party? Who goes? Everyone? Everyone could be at the bachelor party. Well, you got two bachelors. Ba- yes, but that's not a bachelor party. Have two that- bachelor parties. And then they don't go to each other's? You know, maybe they do, maybe they don't. We'll try to figure it out. We used to have a way of being. Now it's like nothing matters. There's no thing. Now, Dave, if you were in a gay marriage. Right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now, if you were in a gay marriage, right? Yeah. You had a bachelor party. Would you invite your soon-to-be husband? I guess, like you're supposed to. Yeah, but then why even have a bachelor party? Yeah, no, I guess now I it's the reception. It's the now etiquette. it's just the reception again. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't. But then, friends of mutual men, friends of ours, wouldn't be able to come either. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Now it'd be like this: you wouldn't have the person because this is supposed to be your last night, right? Right. But then you're not going to invite your best buddy to your bachelor right. party because they what if they're the maid of honor? Yeah, it's gonna stop. supposed to come. Oh, uh, Bryce in Canada. Hey, Ronnie. I uh, I just got to apologize for emailing you at three in the morning. I live in in the West here, and I lose sense of time. <laughs> oh, you're the one who sent me the Donnie stuff. Yes, sir. You've changed my life for the better. Is this kid <laughs> a big hit in Canada now? 
I don't know. I, uh, I just kind of stumbled upon it from a buddy. He told me about the video on the Internet. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, he's hilarious. I like the uh, when he talks about baseball. Or <laughs> I don't know if you guys have watched that one yet. No, I'm going to watch everything he's done. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, actually, I ordered a CD and I ordered two, so I'll send you one if I can get some information. Right, have everybody, right? Yeah, have everybody send me one and send some cigars with it. Make it like a real <laughs> nice day. I see somebody offered a box of cigars to come up. Uh, I already fr- I forwarded it to you. Oh, cool. On Friday. Okay. I'll go back and see what exactly, you know, it's breaking the rules, but, you know, if you want to bring cigars up, uh, let's break the rules a little bit. All right. I mean, you know, what are we, animals? We're Got fucking it. human beings. Uh, Stanley, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, yeah, I just want to comment about that song, man. I thought that was a pretty hilarious song. Even though they're making fun of Danny, you know what, that's all right, but the song was good. So the song part you liked. Yeah, the song part I liked. You know, and Did you like I the song? I didn't think of any homophobic uh, gestures or statements or anything like that. I just thought they were making fun, that's all. No. So, so what all he was saying, Fez, you're just having fun. No, I don't think it's fun at all. And it's definitely not funny. Little Nicky's song. That, it wasn't funny. There was nothing there. What don't you like about it? I don't like the homosexual slurs in it, where he acts like he's attacking Danny with something that isn't any reason to attack about. Whether Danny is or isn't gay, it doesn't even matter. Mm. See, the heterosexuals, we don't have a problem. Like, if someone says, what are you doing, chick fucker? Why don't you go off and lick pussy? Why don't you go put a, a fucking pussy on the end of your dick? Mm-hmm. Hetero's not going to be upset with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know where this little Nicky's coming from. If he thinks that's comedy. A little dicky is more like it. Like a little more gay homo is what we should call yeah. him. He's the homo, right, Fuzz? Um, it wouldn't matter if he was. I'm just saying. It's not an insult. It's nothing to say to him. Right, but still. I bet he does. He, he probably likes, is. I bet he likes to fucking yeah. play with someone's balls. Oh, God. <laughs> it wouldn't matter if he did. to be on your side. I'm saying he's the gay one. He's the awful kid touching. Yeah. No, that's not it. That's then not I being on my side, then Ronnie. I'm confused. All right. Who's the fag, then? Who are we going to get? Aren't we against Nikki? We're against Nikki, yes. Good, because he's the gay yeah. He's the gay. That's okay. not the way to oh. be against him. Oh, man. How he wants us to be against us is our cock against his ass crack. Oh, I'm not doing that. He'd love it. Nicky. Will. Little, Nick. little dicky Will sucker. Will right, dicky, Fez? Dicky sucker. No, I'm not participating in that. Why don't he go suck a dick? He's so gay. Right? It yeah. would be fine if he wanted to. There would be no problem with it. It's nothing. Oh, I'd love put, to get a fucking video of that. It's nothing to put in what's supposed to be, I guess, an insult song. Well, there is some insult. Like when he calls somebody gay. No, that's not an insult. Hey, T, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Fezzy, did you say it doesn't make a difference whether Danny's gay or not? Yeah. Yes, I did. Well, it's not a Monday. Don't try and out anybody. It's Out Your Friends Monday. Out Your Friends Monday. Out Your Friends. Out Your Friends. Friend. Uh, Joe in Rhode Island. Hey, Ryan D. Yeah. Hey, hey, fuck that little Nicky. You're going to have to beat me to him. I'll fuck him up. It's XM all over serious. Fuck them. I Get him. I love you too, brother. I love it. Let's get that little gay. No, we don't get gays. Because we're straight. But what I'm saying is this. Let's say the worst possible thing about him that we can. All right. He's a homosexual. That's not the worst thing. What's worse? I don't know. Make fun of his lousy haircut. Mm. Who cares about that? Exactly, well, it's could. the same as the gay thing. You could be like, his haircut is so gay. Right. Where'd you go, gay barber? Yeah. That wouldn't be the way to go about it. Let's make up a sign. I saw a little Nikki at the gay pride parade. That's gay. There would be no problem with that. This little Nikki is an asshole who thinks he's being clever by calling somebody gay? Yeah, that's the funny part. He is good. Don't get me wrong. It makes no sense to me. You never heard of that before? 
uh, Ann. Ann. Lost her, buddy. Uh, Kevin. Kevin in Virginia. Yeah, I just wanted to tell uh, Fazzy that uh, I like little Nicky song almost as well as I like the faggot of the opera. The faggot of the opera. Yes, that was a long time ago. I would hope everyone's progressed along with me. Well, you are the leader. You are the society's leader. I would like You're to... You're cutting edge. It's absolutely ridiculous, that song that he did. Right. Little Nicky, more like little faggy. Right? No! I don't understand. That. No, Ron! No. I can't call him Little Hetro. It wouldn't fit. No. Sexuality shouldn't have anything to do with it. And yet it does. It's not an insult. But it is, though. That's the weird thing. He's trying to make it that way, but it's not. Well, he didn't invent it. It's just stupid. It's childish. It's lame. Faggy. I don't think queer. that's the way to call it. How about we come up? Oh, there's the queer with a beer. Some kind of song like that. Little Nicky mm. sucking on a dicky. That's not the way to answer back, Ronnie. Comes in his mouth and it's all feeling sticky. Yeah. Having a time, having a time. <laughs> um, here's uh, JD, JD in Philly. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Fezzy. Yeah. You know, I uh, found out that I have cancer and it looks inoperable. My wife left me for another guy. I'm going to lose my house and be out in the street, but you know what? Right. At least I'm not gay. <laughs> Every time I hear that accent, I think fucking flathead is fucking chopping. Oh, here's our good friend, Death Metal Mo. Hey, Mo. Gentlemen, uh, <clears throat> Wally Posse Foot Soldier, 917. I'm checking in. What's up, buddy? Um, Mr. Fez, this is, this is real good, man. The Posse hasn't done anything in a while. Uh, could you do me a favor and sign on to ronfez.net with an enemies list, and we will start systematically attacking and eliminating all your targets, sir? That would be great, Fez. If we get, need to. Get the Posse going. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Thank you, Death Metal Mo, and the Watley Posse. You got a posse? Mm-hmm. Mm. They're out there. I don't get it, though. We got to get that Nikki. A little femme. Acts like a fucking girl. With a pussy. Yeah, fag. One with a pussy. All right, see, that's not the way to get him, though. How do we get him? Off from poppers. Dick slap him? No. Put the poppers on cocks. What are you saying, Fez? You're confusing today. I'm saying this that... This is why everybody thinks you're crazy. I'm saying that if he's going to go after Danny in a song, right. go after some legitimate things. Don't just call him gay. It's meaningless. Where? Earth 2? No. Earth Prime, Earth 1, whatever we if are. If it's meaningless, why would anybody get upset about it? Because he's trying to make it an insult. Trying? Yes. That's what he's trying to do. Ooh, I thought it was one. I'm saying that I'm just failing. going by the Bible. I don't remember it being an insult in the Bible. Well, he said don't lay with other men. Don't fuck them either. Well, of course, that's what they meant. They can't curse in the Bible. Oh. Except when they said the cock crows. <laughs> that made me laugh in fucking catechism. And when they were going, what's so funny? I said, you know, about the crowing. <laughs> Walker, you're on my face. Hey, buddies. Yeah. I got a spy report. What you got? I just saw little Nicky um, in the waiting room of the doctor's office. He told me that he... Uh, just got some testing done. He's gay. He's got HIV, so apparently he is gay. Here's Mike in Long Island. Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, something tells me little Dickie's had more balls on his nose than a circus deal. Now that's fucking funny. You don't think it's funny? <laughs> no, it's not funny. Balls it's on his nose. It's too cheap. It's too cheap. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking laughing at now? The other balls with the seal. 
Well, you know, everything you said Dave's going against you. Yeah, that's what he does. And I don't, I don't, you know, I... Do you appreciate it? No, I wouldn't expect a a dope like him to do it, uh, to not laugh at something like that. Good one. I was just picturing a seal with balls on it. What about my lips are sealed? Like, imagine if a seal had balls on it. See what he's doing? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing. Yep, he's trying to undermine again. That's what he does. That's the plan. That's what he tries to do. Every single fucking day. That's what he tries to do. Do you have to work blue, though? Sometimes I do. Every day? Is it starting to annoy you, though? Oh, sure, yeah. I know. Yeah. It's very annoying. It's very frustrating. I don't know when he's going to get a clue. Why would he do it? Uh, because he thinks what's going to happen is I'm going to lay down and sit here and let him do it. So he's playing? He was. So that's your way of doing Take out the production. Uh, Tony. Tony, you're on my face. Hey, buddy, they think Little Dicky's had his wiener and more buns than Oscar Mayer. Was that joke funny, Fez? No. I didn't find it funny at all. More wieners in your bun than Oscar Mayer. <laughs> no, it's not funny. It's immature. It's stupid. Dave can fake laugh all he wants. It's funny to me. Were you fake laughing? Of course no. he's fake laughing. No, because I was You ever hear him do it. that muttly laugh before? Never. Yeah, I've heard it. Stupid, yeah, but he does do it. You don't like Dave? No, I don't care for him at all. Uh, Earl just gave me the update that uh, Les Paul is dead at 94. <laughs> Mars came in too before it tells him Les Paul is dead. And I understand Twitter's blowing up with the Les Paul news. Everyone likes to be the first one to Twitter. But they never are. There's actual journalists who do this for a living. Right. You'll never be the person who breaks the story. But everybody wants to tell you. Have you ever wanted to tell your friend somebody's dead? Yeah, I, I have. But then I, 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 I I've gotten out of that habit because I know that they've they, they know already. Uh, Ryan, you're on Fez. Hey, uh, Fez. I just want to say, uh, you know, you're always ripping on Dave, but you're always making it about yourself. Why? How am I making this about myself? I'm talking about a song that little Nicky did about Danny. So yeah, how- but then you always rip on deeper. It's always about him. That's He's true. the one taking shots at me. Because you always make it about yourself. No, I Why? don't, you idiot. No, you I don't. I was, I was just ta- I'm not going to let him sit here and try and bash me on my own fucking show, asshole. Yes, it's not going to happen. Hey, it's not going to happen. always make it on you. I don't yes, it is. Yes. I don't feel like I've bashed anybody. I really No, don't. you don't have the fucking guts to come right after me, so you do your fucking fake laughs. You do all that shit. You tr- you, d- you say things under your breath, like GVAC brought up on RonFez.net when he nailed your ass yesterday. No, you never come right after me. Doesn't have the balls. You make a comment, and then you look at Ron, hoping that, you know, that you can cozy well, up to him. He does. He tries to show. cozy up. He that totally is fucking does. true. I don't do hey, that. You just I did it right to... now. Yeah. I look at Ron because I'm a human being. Hey, by the way, did, did you hear my text go off? No. Yeah, it did. And it was uh, Les Paul, rest in peace, from Eastside Dave. <laughs> While you were talking. Uh, Tim, you're on my face. Yeah, hey, Fezzy, I want to know who's gotten hit in the chin with more balls, Jorge Posada or you? All right. He's got a catcher's mask on. I have no idea who the guy is. Catcher for the Yankees. So it could be you, then. Hammer. What's up, players? What, what can we do for you? Hey, Fez, you know, there is one thing that's in the world that's uh, you can be called that's worse than gay, and that's uh, third mic. Peace! I'm not third mic here. The show doesn't have one. There's two co-hosts and producers. As he puts that out there, so now Fez is the lunatic. Fez is the bad guy. Fez picks on Dave too much. 
Yeah, put it out there again. And huh? then you look dirty for saying there's a plan. Sure, exactly. That's how it works. Play the victim constantly, whether it's in here, whether it's online. You're the victim, dude. You you bring it up every single day. I have I you instigated this once again. When once, did I instigate it? For the it? eighth day in a row, you bring it up. I, Jay Moore was my You know what? Yesterday. I'll do it any fucking day I want. You know why? Because it's the fucking Ron and Fez show. Great. So I'll do it any fucking day I want. Excellent. But don't call me a victim when I'm not. You just played it again. How? Here on this co-host here so, and producers. Everyone, I'm doing please. production for the show. That actually wasn't even an, an attack. You said the word plan. Run, both Ron and Fed said the word plan a bunch of times. So in a nebulous fashion. So I intercut with Plan 9 from Outer Space. There was nothing attacking about it. I didn't fuck with the audio or do anything. I made it into a production piece. Because that's what I thought we are trying to get towards. Did the same thing with with Fred and Chris. Put it with music. The same thing yesterday. I'm going to do something today probably with some audio from Ron. I'm just trying to fucking do, do other stuff. That's why I'm here so late. Oh, yes, yes. You're here very late every day. Yes, that awful, awful Fez. I didn't say it was because of you. Oh, it's horrible. What Fez does to you. Oh. And then he just, att then all Fez does is attack. Fez must be crazy. No, but you, you're the proponent of this war for some reason. I that, am? Maybe I'm, bring, maybe I'm saying it straight out. There is no plan. There never has been. There's no plan, no battle, no ulterior motives. There's only attempted contributions to the radio show. Maybe I'm just saying it out loud and not making snide remarks, fake laughs, message board posts. If there was a real plan, shouldn't something be done about it? Wouldn't you speak to me and say, is there a plan? 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, here is uh, Jay. Jay in Nevada. <laughs> Hey guys, hey Fezzy, it's kind of, I, I respect you for trying, but it's hard to take you serious as a tough guy. Weren't you crying an hour and a half ago because the caller made you sad? I'm going around an emotional roller coaster here, buddy. How come, buddy? It's just all right at the surface. But why? I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know what got me going earlier. Mm -hmm. I know what gets me going now. That's Eastside Dave. How did I bring any of this up? How did I bring up the thing yesterday? You, you're you accusing me of a remark that Jay Moore said. So well, I, I, I stayed silent the entire show. If you go back and listen to this stuff, every single day, it's like a, a Cal Ripken streak of you bringing it up. I'm not talking to you. You asked me not to talk to to, to him or, or to Fez, so I'm not talking. Well, you both broke that. You both broke that. I didn't see Nico over there. Come on in, Nico. <laughs> when did he get here? Standing on a chair. Why would anybody come in and go to that room? I honestly... They like the Chris Stanley. Yeah. Nico is one of our interns and now looks like he's a million years old. Looks like he was in THX 1138. What are you doing completely shaved down, Stone Cold? Uh... Well, I gave in to the baldness, so I just saved you? everything. Uh, you're 20, young. 22. 22, and you're already bald for life. And you yeah. did the complete shave down. Complete shave down. Everything's gone. No, you were always uh, a kid that was on the ball. You saw what just happened with Fez and, yeah. and Dave here. I've been listening to it. and uh, What do you think the problem is? I, I can't even begin to see like where this started. It just like burst. It's yeah. like it's been boiling. All of a sudden, just a... Burst came out a lot of, of people think it's a bit. Is this a bit, Fez? It is not a bit. Is it a bit, Dave? The way my chest feels right now, it is not a bit. No. no you're killing him. And you he's understand? killing me. You understand you're giving him a heart attack, I'm though? not trying to, but, you know, I stay up late at night. I'm a father of two kids who is totally stressed out over this deal. I come in. I don't sleep at night. I don't well, sleep on the bus. Why are you stressed out? Because this wears on me. To, to think that I have some, you feel like you're lose some job? sort of plan to co-host. I would never in a million years co-host with Ron because I know I couldn't. So it's never been an option. 
I've never called myself Third Mike. I don't want that job. I'm a happy producer of the Ryan Fez show. You know why? Because I like to... A, a Third Mike doesn't do production like little shits like that that I did, that I, I'm happy to do, that I enjoy doing, that I enjoy putting openings for game shows and, and a lot of the other shit that you hear. I enjoy that. I speak sometimes on, on the show. I get asked to, to, to contribute verbally. That shouldn't make me a fucking bad guy, nor should it make me... W w people think I'm scheming to take over Fez's chair. I don't want it. Never would. Never will. Happy in my lot in life. Not everyone can be the fucking man. Not everyone can be the absolute superstar. Uh, here is Jeff in Ohio. What's going on, fellas? How yeah. are you? What's up? Hey, you know, I'm sitting here listening, and I, I've i never called in before, but I'm I'm, I'm kind of disturbed because it's, it's, Fez kind of forgets. Like, when he had his heart problems and everything, Dave came right in, took over second mic, and and was there, you know, letting Ron, Ryan, you know, talk to him. It can't just be the Ron show. You know, Fez doesn't. You know, right, let, let's let Fez answer that. that. Fezzy, what do you say to that? Yeah, uh, you know what? And I have said I appreciated that when I had two heart attacks and Dave did step up. Now, don't also, I mean, there's two sides to that, too. That's Dave trying to get make a name in radio and getting a fantastic opportunity when I did need him to step up. So, I mean, that's also a good thing for Eastside Dave as well. There's two sides to that. Hasn't Dave, paid out for him. Dave, well, that's not my fault either. But that's Dave also getting an opportunity on this show, on the Ron and Fez show. But what also happened along the way is Dave thought, if Dave was helping me, Dave also thought he could start taking shots at me every day. You know, if I bring up something like, you know, a fantasy football draft party, he goes and starts acting like I've said the most outrageous thing in the world. It's ridiculous the lame attempts he would try to do to make me look bad to the audience, to the callers, and everyone else. Chuckling, to me, is not going after someone. But here's if someone the says something that's funny, if Ron makes a joke at Fed's expense and I laugh, or if you say something that I find amusing... And I've laughed at things that you say when you're intending them to be funny as well. Even this week, when you've said funny shit, I've laughed at them if you go back and listen to these shows. I Laughing couldn't. is something. I couldn't. I chuckle. I'm a chuckler. I try to, I tried really hard to live. You're a fake laugher. No, never. Yeah. I try my totally. best. To, I, if I laughed all the times I wanted to laugh in here, I, I'd laugh about an hour and a half if, if you added it up. I don't. I try my best not to laugh all the time. But that's who I am. That's, I'm a human being who likes to laugh. That's it. Here's our good friend, uh, Jersey Rich. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Hey, now that Fez has accepted the role of uh, third mic, maybe you can stop doing Opie impressions. I haven't accepted shit, asshole. I'm not accepting anything here. Is that really Jersey Rich? Rich. Rich. I couldn't tell. I see that you're uh, totally like just bursting right now. Like, where where would your ideal situation be? You sound like a shrink. I'm, you go, that's I'm what not, shrinks say to you. Yeah, I'm not here for you to analyze me. Uh, uh, have you been to a shrink? Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm not too big on the shrink. I see that you're confused right now. What would you like this situation to well, be? Well, it's it's active listening. I'm I'm trying to make sure that I understand the situation. Yeah, but you know what you a salesman. <laughs> yes, I am a salesman. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doug, you're running Fez. Hey, boys. Uh, oh. Listen, Fezzy, uh, remember when Earl used to be there and uh, Ron would just hammer him left and right for screw-ups or saying the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing? Have you not noticed since Earl's been gone, Ron's been doing that to you? That's... I don't think so. Well, ve well, let, let, well, let's go back to that. When Earl left... Fez also said, I'll take the executive producer role. Right. So, if anything, I don't have an executive producer. The company isn't moving on it. Uh, we talked to our agent about it yesterday. We also talked to our agent yesterday about getting Dave a bump up. Says they're not doing it right now. But, again, 
you know, we are in the situation that we're in. We can't sit around and act like these things didn't happen. But if Fez tells me I'm doing booking, I'm going to look for him for the booking stuff. If he told me, hey, I'm not doing booking, I don't want to, that would be fine. I've tried to take him off booking how many times, Fez? Um, just about every week. Wow. We are, Miss Earl, but he fucking walked out. And we haven't been able to fill the fucking position. We had somebody we wanted to put there, couldn't do it. Matter of fact, that was somebody that Fez, uh, that Dave used to tease with, Earl. Fucking Fez is playing the Earl bit with, with uh, Dave right now. You're doing exactly the same stuff. Exactly the same stuff that Earl did with him. Well, I'm trying to put it out there. I'm not fucking Earl. I don't want him doing it. That would make sense if you did it off the air. But you only do it on the air. You've never sat down and had a talk with him, right? No. Same deal. Become show fodder. Uh, 866 run zero fez 866 run zero fez what, what are you selling now, Nico? Uh, I'm selling uh, health and life insurance. And, uh, yeah, it's just... It's at the point... Because I, I was trying to get into radio and I was applying everywhere. I'm still doing a part-time gig. But other than that, it's just a, a giant heap of shit. I'm doing a big show on Saturday night. Uh, Mark Zito's College Radio. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's fantastic. We'd love to have you stop in sometime. We would love it. Sure, I'd definitely be there. That's on Stars 2 at midnight this Saturday. Can't wait. Um, that's the only show on Saturday. Oh, no, we're live, too. I, I can only promote one show at a time. Oh, okay. I don't want to promote the show that asked me on. Uh, John in Washington. Yes. Uh, hey, Dave, I got your back here. And Fez, are you ever going to... Accept any responsibility for your own uh, problems. Is do you the same calls over and over? It starts to drive me crazy. Uh, Paul in Texas. Paul. Hey, Ron. You know, Fez. I think first of all, I'm a Fez fan. I'm not a big, big Eastside Day fan at all. But I think you're mad at Ron and can't go off on Ron. You know, nothing could happen in that show that Ron didn't allow. And I think that's what you're mad about. You know, if Ron didn't want, want Dave saying the things he was saying, he'd shut him down. He didn't take him off, off the air. Just, you know, you are not talking. So I yeah, think it's all you're 100% Ron. right there. If I, if I wanted to say, Dave, get away from the mic, I would. And by the same token, Fez can say, Dave, get away from the mic. Uh, Fez always says it's the Ron and Fez show. Right, yes, it but is. you let him be planted right there in front of the mic. And why is that? Because well, you went away today for fuck. I had uh -huh. to pull you into the show today. Right. I had to pull you into the show. And are we talking about any of the topics we were talking before? No. We're back talking about Fez and what makes him angry. If you had this kind of passion about the topics, nobody would fucking get uh, caught up in your, your stuff. We would not be talking about you. We'd be talking about all the shit we brought up in the first fucking hour. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It's, uh, and I am working on it. The same passion you have for fighting with, uh, fucking Dave, have whatever comes up without taking it on personally. Hmm. Uh, here is uh, here's somebody, Fezzy, who's always been there for us. It's Paranoid. Hey, Ron and Fez, what's happening, buddy? Hey, Paranoid. You know what, Fez, I applaud you. I agree with you. Um, as somebody that works in the industry doing little game show themes, I'm always trying to bump somebody out of a job. So don't let, uh, don't let Eastside Dave tell you. He's not trying to take your job. You know what's going on. Don't let anybody change your mind. I applaud you, man. You're an inspiration. And you you said you'd be doing the same thing, Perry, if you were in here as Dave's done. Absolutely. In, in, fa in fact, I do something like this uh, down in Atlanta. I, I do jingles and stuff like that for the Giant Show. But I'm always looking to cut someone's throat so I can move up the ladder. Who would you like to, who'd you like to move out of that Giant Show? El Jefe. Yeah. Shafee, anybody, especially a co-hosting position. Jeez, I, I stabbed my own mom in the back for that. Mm. Well, you did that anyway just because you said the dog told you to? 
Well, we don't talk about that. I'm not allowed to talk about that anymore. I'm a father now, so I don't need the CPS rolling in on me. Uh, Perry, I want to put you on hold, and a dull young Jewish boy is going to talk to you about your insurance. I know you're a father now. <laughs> I appreciate that. I need some. You got it. Uh, have you sold any insurance yet, Nico? Uh, no, I've been waiting for my license. New York State is the slowest pile of shit ever. I mean, you're supposed to apply online, and the online server goes down. It goes, oh, uh, fr I started on Friday. Oh, it's going to be back Monday. Monday goes into Tuesday. Now it's just down indefinitely. So I just send it by mail. What are you going, door to door? Uh, Old style? No, uh, we send out. Ma'am? <laughs> well, emails? Uh, we send out letters, and then we call the people that we send letters to. Yeah, I'd love to get that call. <laughs> There's a lot of hang-ups. Could I get insurance on Watley right now? Uh, yeah, you can get some insurance. If something happens to his heart, I'll get paid off? Yeah. What's the over-under? What's the action like? Uh, well, we'd have to work out a little details behind the scenes. But... Is there a well, physical you know, involved? You know he's got two stents. Yeah. Uh, getting approved would, would probably be a hassle. Mm. Cause that's pre existing what, condition? That's what's ridiculous right now. Is... Well, you can make that happen, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll call in some favors. Of course, for Ron and Fez. Just blur out the heart part. <laughs> Just smudge everything. Yeah. Then they'll look at the brain. <laughs> Will you calm down now, Fezzy? I think so. What if tomorrow there's no talk about Dave? All right, I will do that. And Dave, can you do one day where you don't make fun of him? Yes, I can. I don't believe either one of them. Do you believe them, Nico? I, I can't at this point. I see the look on both of their faces. I think something's going to break. You think they hate each other? I don't see I don't see love in their eyes at all. And all you need is love. <laughs> I